Our starting point is the latest on the mysterious death of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un's half-brother Kim Jong-nam. A woman holding a Vietnamese passport has been arrested in Kuala Lumpur in connection with the incident. Now the manhunt is on for five more suspects as the dragnet widens. Kwon jang has our top story. After a day of conflicting reports, the Royal Malaysia Police released a statement on Wednesday confirming the arrest of a female suspect in the investigation of the murder of Kim Jong-nam. The statement identified the suspect as a 29-year-old woman in possession of Vietnamese travel documents. She was arrested at Kuala Lumpur International Airport, the scene of the crime, and was alone at the time. She was said to have been identified from CCTV footage at the airport, but it's not clear whether it's the same person seen in security footage released by local media outlets earlier on Wednesday. The Malaysian police have said they're also looking for another woman and four other men in their investigations. At the same time, the authorities have been reluctant to confirm or deny whether the victim was murdered or even whether he's in fact the North Korean leader's brother. The Deputy Inspector General of Police has been quoted saying the case remains sudden death until evidence of foul play is found. But earlier on Wednesday, Korea's National Intelligence Service did confirm the victim was Kim Jong-nam and that he had died of poisoning, although the method of delivery, either a poison needle or spray, was still to be determined. They said he was travelling with a fake passport under the name Kim Chol and on his way to Macau to see his family. The agency added that it was not the first time Kim had been targeted and that a previous assassination attempt had been made in 2012. Malaysian authorities had been carrying out an autopsy in a hospital on Wednesday, but the results have not yet been released. Officials from the North Korean embassy in Kuala Lumpur were spotted arriving at the hospital where they were reportedly looking to negotiate the release of Kim's body. But Malaysian police are said to have been unwilling to do so while the investigation is ongoing. Kwon Jang-ho, Arirang News.